And greetings everyone, Lights and Gear is back. And today I am pleased to bring you the newest member to the Olight family, at, this, at, at least at this particular time. This is the M2R Pro Warrior. And I'll do a little comparison here in a couple of moments to the previous version. And um, it is another in the Warrior series. So you know you're getting a, a very tough and rugged flashlight in this, uh, in this particular line. Here's your throw at 300 meters. The maximum output is 1800 lumens. And uh, of course you have your five year warranty with uh, Olight. And a little more information on the back of the box just gives a brief, a brief uh, history here on what to expect with it and has its features. Uh, one of which is the fact that it comes with a battery and a lot of Olight flashlights do. In this case, it's a 21700, 5000 milliamps, so it's a good, powerful battery. And uh, some of the other bits of information here telling you about the lumens. Uh, basically, it's 1800, 750, 250, 60, 15, and 1 for moonlight, so it goes down nice and low. Impact resistant to 1.5 meters. It's waterproof, IPX8, and um, there are your measurements. So, a uh, nice box, of course, from Olight, which is, uh, has a magnet here on the bottom. And uh, inside you get your nice Olight packaging here, telling you where to pick it up and uh, take everything out from. Uh, you have some accessories in here. It is USB rechargeable, so they do give you that uh, tool as well. And uh, the flashlight is here inside the holster. So let me open the uh, accessory packet up. And here's the manual. One of the things I don't like about Olight is their manuals because they don't say a whole lot. It's mostly um, other languages, but I mean, you know, they just don't say a lot about their lights. And um, Sometimes there are a few questions which don't get immediately answered by looking at the manual, and that kind of bugs me about Olight, but other than that, they're great. Um, also, in the box are the other little pieces of uh, equipment that you need. Here is the charging disc, which goes on the bottom of the flashlight, which goes on the tail cap. USB, of course. And... Um, all right, here is the lanyard, and um, this is a pretty standard lanyard. It is adjustable, but what they've actually done here, if you can see, they've put a pin right on the bottom of it. There's a little pin in there, which is used to thread the lanyard onto the bottom of the light. It's nothing major, but it's just a nice little... You know, sometimes, if you're ever trying to thread one of these things, it's very difficult. It's like threading a needle sometimes. So they've made that just a little bit easier. Now, the uh, holster is something I've never quite seen before. It's, um, well, it's a very nice holster, but it has the uh, quality, it has quality that I haven't seen before on other flashlights. It has a, it has a buckle here, and the buckle is, is behind this, um, this band, but it's, um, it just buckles shut instead of the usual kind of enclosure. So you know this is going to be built to last. Uh, so that's, uh, that's very cool. And on the back, it has a, a snap enclosure right here for this portion. And then there's um, this portion here, which, which a part of your belt can go through as well. So it's a very nice, very heavy-duty quality holster. So flashlight is inside the holster, as you can see. So here is the little baby, and um, it's certainly made to last. It is made to probably last through a nuclear attack, I would say. The um, knurling here is very aggressive and would certainly serve you well with wet hands or whatever kind of a grip you might need. Here is the button, the main switch, the side switch with a voltage indicator in the middle. Now it also has the rear switch, so it is a dual switch flashlight. 
This is uh, tactical on the bottom, so you can get tactical light just by pressing it thusly. Or you can get full light by pressing it all the way, like that. So there's your half, and even your half will stay on. If you, if you press it quickly, the half will stay on. And then you can still go, because this is, um, I haven't, haven't gone into the explanations yet, but right now this is on medium mode. When you just press this halfway, it's on medium. And then if you press it all the way, it's on turbo. So you can get instant turbo, just like that, to stay on as long as you release the button quickly. And then one press to turn it off. Or you can get tactical turbo by holding it in. Or you can get the medium right away by giving it a little quick press and the tactical medium by holding it. And you can also change those settings and make this turbo and this strobe. So that is, um, it's more or less configurable there to two different settings. And uh, the um, charging plate goes right over like that. And then when the battery is charging, you get a, you get a red light right here on the end and then it turns green when it's all finished you can see those you can see the pictures of this on my written review at my website and then of course plug that into a USB so that's how you charge the battery um, here is the LED emits a smooth reflector and um, one thing they don't tell you is what the LED is they do not tell you all they say is that it's a high performance neutral white LED and it has a nice it has a nice tint to it a nice color but they don't tell you what the LED is is it an XHP is it an XPL they do not identify it um, here's the crenellation on the bezel this is it's not it's not really sharp sharp but you could do some damage with that with the with the end here you could certainly break glass and uh, do some other bits of damage if you had to in emergency. Uh, the clip is just as good as any other clip on any other Olight. It works both ways, so it'll go this way or this way. And I like that about their clips, is that you can put it in either, either up or down, depending on what you like. The battery comes with the light. It's a 21700. And, of course, you've got lots of travel here on the cap and lots of nice uh, good, um, good threads here along with uh, some nice lubrication. Actually, before I um, do this, or yeah, let me do this and then I'll do that. Um, so here's the battery they give you, which, of course, is the Olight battery, the 21700, 3.6, 5,000 milliamps. So this will last you a good amount of time. And... Um, this is a larger battery than even many other 21700s, and it has this little nibble, this little nib, nibble, has this little nub here on the end. So, in effect, what happens is, and, well, obviously they intend you to charge it in the light. They don't intend you to have to charge this battery outside of the light. So, because of this, this battery will not fit most smart chargers. Um, I have many, many chargers at my fingertips over here. I've got these my boxers and so forth. It won't fit. Um, the only charger I have been able to find that it fits in is um, well, I haven't. I actually haven't. I actually, actually, I confess, I haven't tried every single one of them. But I tried a few, and the battery wouldn't fit. One of the ones it did fit in is this My Boxer 8 Bay. In this, in this charger, it just fits snugly, but it manages to get in the manages to get in the slot. Any other charger I tried, it won't fit. So, bottom line, they intend you to charge it inside the light. Now, this battery, as I said, is, as I say, is large. You can take any other. 21700 battery and you can see the difference in height or length if you will so 
Um, most other 217-100s are not as long as this. I um, have another one here. I have, a, uh, have this particular one here, which is a IMR. But anyway, um, see how much shorter this one is. And it's a 217-100-4000 milliamp. So what happens is none of these other batteries will work in this light either. It will basically only work with the Olight battery. I can put one of these in here, but it comes up a little short on the end, and I do not believe it's going to work. No, it's not working. I am pressing the button, and it's not doing anything. So if it comes up, if you have any 217-100s around your house, and um, if they come up like this in the tube, they'll be too short and they won't work. So just keep that in mind. They do want you to use the internal charger. So let me take the, um, let me just show you the comparison in size between this and the first M2R. Here's the first Olight M2R Warrior right here. This is not the Pro, this is the first one. So here they are side by side, and the Pro is bigger. The Pro is longer. Not by a heck of a lot, but it is longer. It's um, only maybe a half an inch. So, and of course the first one uses an 18650 battery. And this one essentially will not use an 18650 battery because again, no 18650 is as long as this 21700 they've given you. So that's the other thing about the Pro is that you can't use even an 18650 in it. But um, so those are your differences between the two right there. And of course, the beam is in, is uh, um, is entirely different on the first uh, M2R. And you can watch my video on this light anyway. And this has an orange peel reflector, and this has a smooth reflector. So to turn the light on, of course, just give it a little press like that. And as soon as you do, the indicator will come on here showing a good strong battery. When it starts getting lower, this will turn orange. And then when it goes down below 30%, it'll go red. And then it'll flash when it gets down to 10%. So this acts as your voltage indicator as you're going along. And um, so right now we are on the um, medium mode. Uh, according to the manual, You have your uh, outputs here, moonlight and low, and uh, medium two comes before medium one, and then high, and then turbo. And turbo should stay solid for about four and a half minutes, and then it gradually dips to about um, uh, about 700 lumens, and then it stays there for 145 minutes and then drops down to low after that and high is at 750 at 750 right yes it is and um, that drops after 160 minutes for and then runs for 40 minutes after that on the next level so and you can get um, about two months worth of light on the low mode and then Moonlight, I believe, gets probably more than that. So um, there are your uh, distances to, your beam distance for each of the modes. So let me run by the modes here. I'll turn the light off here. And I just turned it on in Moonlight. And to get Moonlight, you have to press and hold the switch. Moonlight is not part of the regular sequencing, neither is Turbo. So for Moonlight, you have to press and hold the switch. And it's, it's as any other Moonlight is in pitch dark. You can see very well up close. And if you can make out the beam on this light, it's a very different sort of a beam. than Definitely different than on the first Warrior. It's almost just a completely round... Um, Complete, completely round spotlight is basically what it is and um, it has some spill but in um, you don't see it unless you're on a higher output 
and um, even outside sometimes it's hard to make out some of the spill depending on the situation you're in but anyway this is moonlight of course so I will press and hold and here's low so here's low and here's medium 2 medium 2 comes before medium 1 so here's medium 1 and here's high so high mode right here here is your spotlight right in the center and there is spill along the edge here but there's a very sharp cutoff between the edge of the main spot and the spill there is a very sharp cutoff in that so you can see some spill there and now to get to turbo I have to double click like that so here we are in turbo and that's very very bright to my eyes on the wall here very bright and it's starting to get warm in the head as well so anyway this is turbo and then of course if I click it again it'll turn off and then click it back on it'll go back down to uh, it'll go on high once again so the only way to get to turbo is to double click from anywhere you happen to be I can be off and then double click and I'll get to turbo and then if you want strobe you have to do a triple click one two three and there are no other flashing modes strobe is the only flashing mode so I can only just press it off from there or I can double click and go back to the mode I was in before I went to strobe and again it's starting to get hot now in the head but anyway these are the modes and now we're back down to uh, low once again it certainly is um, bright and with that spot it gets um, very good um, beam distance you know a very good throw uh, let me um, run it outside here so if you follow me out in the darkness here we will see what it can do under those conditions Alright, there we go. Uh, this is a nice flashlight. It ha has a lot of possibilities, obviously. And, of course, you can see the green illuminator here is still going strong. Um, it was um, furnished by the uh, Skyben shop on Amazon. And there's a link below if you want to pick one up from, from Skyben on Amazon. And um, if you head over to my written review at lightsandgear.com, of course, you can read the full review there, see additional outdoor photos and indoor photos and so forth. And there's a link there to make the purchase as well. Um, again, this is a very serious flashlight, as you would expect from Olight. And um, it is rather, um, it, has a, it has heft to it. It's over six ounces in weight, including the battery. And as you can see, is just uh, under six inches in length. But it'll do whatever you need it to do for wherever you need to do it and um, the switch on the bottom is uh, quite unique and will certainly have um, a good purpose there for many users and here's where you attach the lanyard there of course on the bottom and don't forget that holster which has the clip on it that's uh, one of the better holsters I've ever seen so anyway this has been the Olight M2R Pro Warrior do not confuse it with the original M2R, which is not the Pro. But the Pro version is right here, right now. It's a nice flashlight, and uh, hope if you get one, you can find great use for it, or give it, or give it as a uh, as a gift for someone. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. All right then, thank you. Take care.